Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a die-hard cake. Welcome to the party, pal! It's the Christmas season, so that means it's Christmas movie season, and we are getting in the holiday spirit with a John McClane bust cake. If you like this cake, like this video so that I know that you like this cake, and then I'll keep making them for you every Monday. Before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to my friend Emerson Wade. Thank you so much for becoming a patron, Emerson. And don't forget that we have Side Surf Cake Studio merch at our store, like this. So let's get started. I've got a small structure covered with modeling chocolate, and that is going to serve as the cake board for this cake. And I start by stacking layers of vanilla cake with layers of green buttercream between the layers. Now I take a serrated knife to cut the cake into the shape of the head. And I cover the whole thing in a crumb coat of buttercream. This layer of buttercream prevents the air from getting into the cake, basically creating like a seal to lock in the moisture. So I smooth buttercream on all surfaces of the cake with my offset spatula. And then I take a plastic scraper and I smooth it out even more. Now I'm adding a layer of rolled out modeling chocolate and I'm pulling it back so that it's tightly pressed against the cake. And then I just trim away the excess chocolate with some scissors. With a sculpting tool, I'm blending that modeling chocolate into the cake board neck. Before diving in and sculpting the details, I wanna make sure that I map out the area for sculpting the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, just to make sure that my placement's accurate. So at this point, I don't think that there's a whole lot of debate as to whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not, right? Like maybe like 10 years ago, a lot of people might not have considered it one, but I feel like since then, it's pretty much claimed its spot on most people's Christmas movie lists. What do you guys think? Honestly, does Die Hard make your Christmas movie list? I wanna know. So leave a comment. And let me know also, what is the best Christmas movie of all the Christmas movies? What's your favorite? Every time I make a cake of someone, I try to focus on that person's unique characteristics. We all have them. So it's really, really important to get those right if I want the cake to look like that person. So in this case, Bruce Willis has these wide smile lines and a very distinct space between his nose and his upper lip. When I'm making a character like this, I also think about the character more than the actual actor. So from here on out, I'm not really making a cake of Bruce Willis, but John McClane. <laughs> I wanna make sure that I capture the John McClane personality. So you have that subtle smirk that he has throughout the movie. It's kind of like this smug, maybe a little bit sarcastic, pretty alpha. <laughs> John McClane is sort of the everyman superhero. He's taken on Hans Gruber and a bunch of bad guys, <laughs> and he honestly looks like he's having a pretty good time doing it. It's really an iconic expression if you think about it. While gathering reference images for this cake, I noticed that Bruce also furrows his brow a lot in this movie. <laughs> like he was doing it in pretty much every picture I found. So the combination of the mouth and the brow creates this expression that I think is really important to the overall outcome of the cake. And it's also so representative of Die Hard itself. Not only does it have a lot of action, but it also has a lot of humor. I mean, there are so many memorable one-liners in this movie. I would try to impersonate them, but I feel like I would sound like a fool. <laughs> Come out to the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. You know what's crazy? Bruce Willis was actually not the first choice to play John McClane. I know. So originally, the studio was contractually obligated to offer the role to Frank Sinatra, but since he was like 70 at the time, he declined the role, thankfully. <laughs> then it was offered to some huge action stars, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone, but they also turned it down and that allowed Bruce to ultimately get the part. 
Personally, I think the comedic angle that he brought to the character is one of the main reasons why the movie's so good. Smash that like button if you like movies that are funny. <laughs>